Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you today. We're going to start our first video of Microsoft Azure Active Directory. As you all know, Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service. You did identity and access management in your on-premises using your local Active Directory. And you choose this video because you want to learn about Azure Active Directory. Let's learn it with the real value. For that, we need to know why identity management is so importantly needed and to be considered in this cloud era. And what capability bring Microsoft Azure to be the best choice of identity access management. So our agenda is to cover why identity access management is needed and what Microsoft Azure offer as an Active Directory service for identity access management and the different premium that Microsoft Azure offered then about multi-factor authentications, etc. So let's start from why identity and access management is so important. The right definition for identity and access management is enable right individuals to access the right resources at the right time and for the right reason. It was relatively easy when all the people in the company work from a fixed location like a head office or branches but now the scenario is totally different most of the workforces are mobile workforces and also your employees need to access the application and other files while they are moving like from airport or coffee shop etc so identity and access management play an important role in the cloud era Look at this example. We have many applications from different vendors like SAP, Oracle, Google, Amazon, and you have printers, file server, and exchange server in your on-premises. If you don't have a single sign-on or a public cloud which you can integrate the authentication or identity access management, in this case, you need uh, to have a separate username and password to access each applications and also when you want to revoke the access from some users in case the user resigned from the company or you terminated the employee from the company then you need to go to each application and reset the password or delete the username or disable the user this is going to be a headache and it is not that easy for an enterprises organization so a centralized cloud-based identity access management can solve this issue. Look at the picture now. You see an Azure Active Directory stands in between your application and your clients. So whoever want to access the application from different vendors, Azure Active Directory, which is a public cloud identity access management, can provide authentication service by that way you can control the access management to all the application in your organization from Azure Active Directory. So we can say Active Directory helps you to provide a secure solution with a central access portal for all your application with just one identity and login for your employees, partners and customers that you want to share your information. So with a few click, you can also add multi-factor authentication to your sensitive applications. And also you can have a self-service password reset functionality also for your users to reset their password. Now you are more clear about the importance of identity access management. So Azure Active Directory is a fully managed multi-tenant service, which provide identity access for on-premises and cloud applications. So look at the picture, you will see there are users and devices used Azure Active Directory for the authentication and also at the same time the applications like SaaS, Dropbox, Google and other applications also use Azure Active Directory for authentication. So you have a single sign-on, you don't need to have multiple username and password to log in each services. Azure Active Directory, the public cloud uh, identity access management system will help you to have a single username and password for all your applications and all your users and devices. And also you can see the on-premises Active Directory where you can synchronize your users, your passwords to Azure Active Directory using different methods of Azure Active Directory synchronization. 
and all this helps you to have a secure authentication system for your cloud applications and your on-premises application. And one important thing that I want to say to you is Azure Active Directory is not just an instance of Windows Server Domain Controller that you are already aware. So if you have a local Active Directory in your infrastructure, you can just extend it to the cloud by integrating Azure Active Directory to authenticate your users in the same way as on-premises and cloud services does. What you see now is a comparison chart of the Azure Active Directory uh, features compared with the different editions. Uh, there are three editions, Azure Active Directory Free, Basic and Premium and also Office 365 provides some kind of Active Directory features. When you look at the common features that is available uh, for free is uh, 500,000 objects and also provide single sign-on ability for 10 apps per user. The premium feature provide a self-service password reset for cloud users. A self-service password change is available for cloud users with Azure Active Directory free but for a reset is available only with Active Directory basic and premium. Then you have uh, different kind of reporting and also privileged identity management, identity protection, then automated password rollover. Many functions comes with uh, uh, premium features and also which provide uh, multi-factor authentication also. And when you look at the Azure Active Directory uh, Windows 10 uh, related features, to join a device to Azure Active Directory, you doesn't need any kind of subscription. You can join Active Directory uh, free subscription. But if you want MDM auto enrollment like in tunes and all, then you need to go for Azure Active Directory Premium uh, P1 or P2 that is, comes with uh, enterprise mobility and security. Azure Active Directory Business to Business and Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer. You can create uh, cross-company relationships by inviting and authorizing users from your uh, partner companies to access your resource. With this process, each company uh, federates once with Azure Active Directory and each user is then represented by a single Azure AD account. This option also provides a higher security level because if a user leaves the partner organization, access is automatically disallowed. Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer supports signing into your application using uh, social networks like uh, Facebook, Google or LinkedIn and creating developed account with username and password specifically for your company on application. So these two are interesting if you have uh, cloud based applications and then you want uh, uh, to provide the Google or Facebook based authentications then this is going to be uh, an option that you can easily integrate with your cloud applications. So I'm going to wrap up this session. We discussed about uh, Azure Active Directory and its importance, different editions available and some of the capabilities of Azure Active Directory. In the next video, I'm going to show to you the different methods that you can synchronize your on-premises Active Directory with Azure Active Directory. I think this is the first step that you all uh, wish to do in your uh, environment because you need to bring your on-premises users to Azure Active Directory and you need to know what are the possible methods that are available and which is the most secure way that is adoptable for your organization. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel.